Hi, and welcome to this video covering the news of our summer release 2016, featuring new functionality with a special focus on the needs of our larger customers. Our new option for user groups makes the handling of a large number of users much more efficient. Super users can now create and edit groups and all users and folder owners can assign access rights to a folder and its content to these user groups. User groups are also displayed in the user profile. And when adding a new user, super users can assign the new user directly to the selected user groups. As a second element to strengthen the corporate prof profile of Questback Essentials, we are introducing an approval process as a separate account option. Once activated for an account, designers need to submit the request for approval by a super user before they are allowed to publish it. This approval process combines in a unique way the do-it-yourself options for local and decentralized feedback by the local business users with the element of in-house control and quality assurance by centralized expert users. The new approval process will only be available once activated specifically for an account. Please contact your local Questback office if you're interested. With this summer release, we're also strengthening and extending our offering around the so-called NPS, Net Promoter Score. You are now free to use the NPS question type as many times as you wish per quest and the NPS score is visualized directly in the reports of the survey, including live reports, with the typical stacked bar for the three NPS components, detractors, passives, and promoters. When it comes to creating a survey, we are extending the options of our users with the introduction of flexible scales. Besides the traditional scales that start with one, such as one to six or one to 10, we are now supporting inverse scales, such as 6 to 1 or 10 to 1, as well as scales that start with 0 or even negative numbers. To make sure that the reporting with average scores works properly for any scale, simply adjust the numeric values for the response options accordingly. Please note as well the new color schemes, red, yellow, green, and green, yellow, red, in the reporting. They allow for an intuitive and easy to understand visualization of any scale and the two versions give you the flexibility to reverse the color order according to your needs. Distribution-wise, we are introducing a brand new pop-up script. It is based on the newest technology, making the pop-up appear as extra layer and not as a new window to bypass pop-up blockers and can easily be adjusted and tested directly in Quest Back Essentials. Under the distribution log, we have also added a new component for device tracking, providing you the information on how many responses come from a desktop computer versus a mobile device. Final improvements includes an enhanced media library with significantly increased file size and storage space, as well as enhanced case handling under follow-up with email notifications when changing case handlers, and new quick filters and export options in the case grid. Please check the updated release information linked to the activity overview and make yourself familiar with all the news directly in Questback Essentials. Thank you.